In step five of exercise number four, the following actions have to be implemented to complete the machining of the interior pocket ledge. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. Add a new eye machining operation. In the solid cam manager, right click operations, add milling operation, and select 2D eye machining. The eye machining operation dialog box is displayed and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the machining geometry for the pocket ledge. For this operation, the geometry is defined as a closed pocket with entry chain. The first chain to select is the perimeter contour of the pocket ledge. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the lower edge of the pocket ledge as shown. Select Auto Constant C to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. The second chain to select is the internal chain, which is marked as open, since it is considered as a pre-cut area that was machined in the previous eye machining operations. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the top edge of the interior pocket wall as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. In the chain list, right-click the entry chain, Chain 2, and choose Mark Chain as Open. This will enable the tool to start machining from this chain. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 2, the smaller 6mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, select the top edge of the target model as shown. And then click OK to confirm the selection. Next. Click the Pocket Depth button and select the top face of the pocket ledge to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the eye machining operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 0.5. The step-down row in the output grid is painted red to indicate there is a high likelihood that vibrations will develop based on the tool information and milling levels defined for the operation. Since changing the step-down or tool is not an option in this case, reduce the machining level slider to 1 in an effort to avoid potential vibrations. On the technology page, the step-down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. At this point, the eye rough operation can be calculated and the eye machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation eye rough pocket ledge. Click save and calculate and then click simulate. Click the play button to view the eye machining toolpath at work. The tool plunges inside the open area and performs the pocket ledge roughing toolpath, first removing the material along the walls and then clearing the corners. Exit the simulation control panel. Next, define the finish machining of the pocket ledge. Click the Save and Copy button to create a copy of the current eye machining operation. Under Technology, change the operation type to I finish. Use the copied machining geometry, 6 mm tool, and milling levels definitions from the previous I rough operation. Use the copied cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard with a machining level aggressiveness of 1. On the technology page, the wall island offset is now set to 0 by default. Switch to the iRest Data tab. The previous iRough operation is selected as the parent operation, and the fields are filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. 
The iFinish operation can now be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Pocket Ledge. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool plunges and performs finishing of the pocket ledge, first clearing the corners and then taking a finish pass along the walls. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 5 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rough and finish machining of the interior pocket ledge.